Ooh, she thick. Um, she got ass on her. That thing is banging. Um, just feel swollen and the bags are just like fucking me up and um kind of broke out a little bit anyway we out here we in these streets I'm about to get me some gas cause I got a quarter sink left and I might as well just do it now over with. This is like one of the things I hate most. Getting gas. Ugh. Anyway, but yeah. I hope it doesn't take long. Like, I really hope that they... Oh my god. Of course you're gonna give me the red light, you mother... Fucker! God! I'm gonna be looking at me like... <laughs> Why? Anyway... That's it. That's all I got on the itinerary today. I'm gonna, I do have to work a little bit when I get back home. But for the most part, I'm gonna be going to get my car smogged, go to Starbucks, probably grab something to eat. Because I haven't eaten all day. Well, it's morning, so it hasn't been that long. But you know, I do the liquids in the morning and blah, yada, yada, yada. So your girl's actually getting a little hungry and then. After that, I gotta go grocery shopping because Bay is at a little get together. Um, so she's gonna meet me back at the house. And then we gotta grocery shop. So, yeah. That's what it is. This hair, though. Like, this is my fraggle side. I call this my fraggle side. This one be trying to hang in there. Like, it be trying to do something. But this is my fraggle side. Like, this is the side that dries out quick, breaks quick. Be tossing around my freeze all day. If I don't leave it alone. That was a fast red light. Oh, right. So, gas. Yes, here we go. Look at me taking my seatbelt off. Hello prematurely, I'm so horrible. Okay. Let me get this gas. Give me 
sick. BRB. I've been giving some thought to moving. Now, mind you, I have lived in SAC practically my whole life. I moved here when I was seven, just before my eighth birthday. Um, and that was a very long time ago. So I've been here for decades and, um, because I quit my job and you know, what's funny is only a few people actually know, like, um, my best, obviously my wife, my mom, my mom moved in with us in 2019 First of all, it just cost me $72 to fill up my tank. Like, what world are we living in? There is no rational explanation for why the fuck it cost $73 to fill up my entire tank. And I still had a quarter gas left. Like, how are people supposed to live in these streets? How? How? My God. I say all that to say, again, California is completely pushing um like California is pushing the poor out and I'm not poor by no means but I'm not rich and I've lived here my whole life and now I feel like just to get ahead like I gotta go I gotta go and to be honest Zach um it's just not financially smart to live here if you're not making a lot of money. If you're just making good money, you know, maintaining and, you know, have a little to save and blah, blah, blah. But you're, I, there, there's no thriving here unless you're like, it's just become that. I don't even know how to explain it. It's become that. And it has, it's all politics. And it's just despicable. But it's, we're... We, California is just pushing the poor out and um, while I'm not poor I gotta go because I want to be able to thrive I want my dollar to go far and that's just not here anymore I mean California was never cheap but um, it wasn't this it wasn't this it wasn't this. It wasn't almost five dollars a gallon. It wasn't like I remember when gas per gallon was a dollar eighty. Like, and I know everything goes up with time. That's you know inflation, and that's what it is. But just nothing. The housing market. Nothing here reflects a reasonable price. Everything is so fucking inflated, and then it's just gonna fall. That's what it always does. Swells the fuck up and then it falls. And then California's broke for one reason or another or whatever. If it ain't one thing, it's the fires. It's the... I'm just tired. And I've been here my whole... Basically my whole life. So. Um, yeah. It's just... It's just... I feel like it's time to go and I... And SAC doesn't really, I just made the decision to start vlogging. So in terms of what there is to do out here, nothing. <laughs> Sacramento, SAC County is just suburbs and a teeny, itty, itty, itty little downtown. We do have a newish arena. It's nice. They revamped the area, closed the mall. Like there's some places downtown, you know, but nobody like wants to live down there. Like if they do, they're lying. Like, you want, like, the outskirts. But in the outskirts, it's just it's just homes, suburbs, and businesses. So, there's nothing. There's, there's, I mean, there is nightlife, but there isn't, if you get what I mean. Like, it's like, I don't know. I don't mean to shit on my city. Like, the city is, the city made me. It raised me. And I'm very appreciative for it. But it's where I landed. It's not where I chose. You know what I mean? So... I was a kid, and look at the tunnel, it's so pretty, I love this, I love this, 
and it's over. Um, so, yeah, it's just like, okay, bitch, go. Um, and now with vlogging, like, I want to be able to, like, two car parking, okay. Um, I want to experience new shit, new places, new people. I want to experience something new because I've never done that before. Very, I'm very much the kind of person that, like, sits and be like, stays. I don't really travel. I don't really do anything. Mind you, I've always had a nine to five, so I've never been like, I just don't travel. A bitch just don't do much. Like, that's just facts. But even if I wanted to, there's not much to do here. Period. So, um, and it's just becoming way too expensive, way too expensive to live here. So, I'm thinking about moving. If I do, it'll be next year. Um, I've had some talk about where and blah, 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 but I don't, I'm really not set yet on where. And when I am, I don't know, I might keep it a secret, surprise you guys, hit you with a moving blog. <laughs> but it'll be next year if I do move. But I'm thinking about it, so we'll see. Anyway, I feel like I was talking about something else before. I ain't even ate yet. Last spent seventy-three dollars on gas. <laughs> you hurry up and get to this small place, cause I'm trying to get something in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be gross, but I'm trying to get some tea not been on this side of town in forever. I used to come out here um I've been Rockland and I used to come out here Rockland is technically Placer County but it's right on the outskirts of Sac and I used to come out here because my auntie lives out here so we came out here as kids all the time for holidays um but there's a vegan spot over here called Zest Kitchen bitch Ooh, I love that place. Expensive as hell. I mean, just to be eaten, you know, on a regular. It, but it is just so good. Like, the food is so pure. It's all fresh and just, mmm. I love it. But to be honest, I'm all the way over here and I don't even know if I'm going to get that because, like I said, I'm trying to move. I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to do a lot. You know, a bitch ain't employed no more. Like. I'm not employed anymore. So, <sighs> I'm trying to make that money. Last forever. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a real dusty day. I mean, it's not raining, so there's that. But it's looking real... Just ugh, the smog, like it looks really. What's the word I'm looking for? Like I'm in LA. Like the sky isn't like unless you look straight up, the sky isn't blue. It's like a cast of just smoke. It looks like it's just smoke, like an overcast of smoke. But it's not raining, even though I wish it would, because. California once again in a horrible fucking drought. We're over here barely got through the summer. Hoping and wishing and praying. Paying out the ass for water. Just your just your utilities for water. Like fuck gas. Like it is not affordable to live here anymore. Not for middle class and below. If you're upper middle class and higher because the middle class is huge it's huge so and that just is how it goes for the whole country but it's that no i separate middle class by two parts three parts you have working class middle class upper middle class and 
middle class is barely hanging on by a thread. They're not even like have enough money for retirement. Like they're not even on point with savings. If you are working class, which is what I was, good luck, bitch. I mean, I made very good money. I'm not going to lie. I made good money, but, um, it may be as a single human being, I don't have a family. I don't have kids. So as a single woman, you know, and a dual income because I'm married, that, that, that worked, that, that was okay. But by no means was I like so well off that I could just go here and go there and no, I just had enough to pay my bills and live a nice life and put, because I told you I saved up a whole lot of money and put a lot of money to the side because people don't realize just how much they're supposed to be saving in order if they need in order to be where it is they need to be by retirement in order to support your lifestyle for the rest of your life like people really unless you like sit down and run those numbers you really don't realize that in order to be comfortable in this economy and it's ever growing keep that in mind um in order to be comfortable i think you need like a meal i think you need a meal and that's just to be comfortable and that's like with no hiccups or something drains the bank just a cool meal to get you from 70 to death like 65 to death and yeah so my savings is nowhere near I do not have a million dollars in the bank I know sis I don't but I want it and I'm going for it and I believe I need to leave California to make that happen it's just what I believe. Well, I need to leave SAC. If I was living like in LA, then that would provide the lifestyle at least. Cause there's like, it's LA. There's tons of shit to do in LA. I'm NorCal all day, but SoCal offers more like NorCal offers you more things to do like we we have I mean SoCal has the beach but we also have the mountains we also have the snow we also have like we have a lot of adventurous things to do like outside things to do but LA has a nightlife they have that scene so um and there's there's everything there like everything vajayshals oxygen bars people that take you out and meditate on the beach like there's so many different small businesses and so many different things to do in LA. Like you'll never fucking be bored. You'll never be bored. So, but I have no, no coming from NorCal and my wife's from SoCal, not from LA, but she's from SoCal, like Lancaster, Palmdale over there. But, um, Ooh, she thick. Um, she got ass on her. That thing is, Dang it. Um. Anyway, but I have no desire to live in LA. Like, it's bad enough dealing with the fires and stuff. I can only imagine what it's like out there. God, at least in NorCal, I mean, Sacramento is a city of trees. I mean, I know they changed the name to like food to fork, farm to fork, or some dumb shit, but it's a city of trees, my nigga. Okay. We have some really, really great oxygen out here. Great air. Why did I turn here? Because I just instinctually came to Zest. I came to the restaurant. That's how much I love that place. Bitch, go get your car smog. That's where you going. What are you doing? Um. So... Yeah, I have no desire to live in LA. I'm just no for several reasons that I don't care to get into. But um and the place the place that I'm thinking about heavily. Sorry, I'm not gonna reveal that yet. Sorry. But sorry, not sorry. But when I do, like if that's you know the place I choose, the place that we choose. Um 
in terms of like things to do and like nightlife and just like the lap of luxury LA ain't got shit on that so that is what I am thinking about doing hi base your DMV paperwork yeah He's out here for us, and I'll meet you in the office. Okay. No mask? Damn. He have no mask on. He don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm in my car. I just put the I just, I whip my mask out real quick. Like, maybe you all of it in my window breathing and shit. God damn. You don't give a fuck, do you? I mean, something like 75% of California is vaccinated, so that's great, but including me. Um, but still, the virus is still very much alive and well. Um, you said leave the keys in the car. In the car? Last time I left my keys in the car while it was running. This bitch locked me out, so. A little bit. Alright, bye y'all. Check in with you later. On my way to Starbucks. Yes, I am, bitch. Let's go. So we here, chilling, just drinking this wonderful, delicioso latte. That's what I get, y'all. When I'm not drinking my tea, this is what I get. Yum. Tastes like heaven, y'all. I could just sit right here all day. Ugh, this hair. I'm over here in the land of the White Walkers, y'all. Wait for me. Until I get back in my car, I swear I live in my car. Like, it's just so socially awkward to be out. It's just weird. Especially, I mean, at least it is out here. It's just weird. Like, it used to be such a social gathering before, and now it's just. Like, it's crickets to know this. No, but I remember when Starbucks used to be like. Love you, Kim Pam's the band. They're going with you right now. One eternity later. Insecure. Let's go. Kelly, you can't keep this? doing that the whole time. Yeah, I will drop. We're going to Vegas? I feel like they are because of that. The road. Oof, have you seen Molly's page? Girl. She said she's fine.
But then, bitch, why are you posting all those selfies with just the point of your face? <laughs> It's been two months. She's really going through it. I do like her inspirational quote. Wants to have a good time. Nope, San Francisco. Because it's seven in the airport. Wait, wait, what happened? Fresh off the plane, something. <laughs> and you're 20. Oh, yeah. I usually sleep in this. Oh, God. I can go. Ugh, I hate what this. What is going on? Uh, I love this movie. Yeah, because yeah. they met up. No, right. I thought they, is, right? Yeah, I thought well, they were friends again. Yeah, but we tied. Because that smiling bitch over there saying I'm not registered, she had to make me one. Well, I got one what because mean? I am a product. So, big thing. Why? Why that much? Mm. I mean, again, a great episode. What are you doing? Do not rush this. Oh. Again, a great episode. Mm. Agreed. Ooh, that was great. Good job, Lisa. Mm. Can we watch it one more time? Because honestly, he's so fine. Oh my god! Like so, just him. I mean, we could go watch so an episode between, of Queen Sugar. And it'd be fine. So it's gonna be between him and. I'm sorry. There is no competition between him and what's his no, name. No, to you, I'm just saying it's gonna be between those two, or possibly Lawrence. She might Why actually... Lawrence? You just broke up with him. Can we leave him alone? But please? no, I mean, if he comes for her, I feel like that's the only way it's going to happen is if he comes for her. Yeah. Hard. So, you know, to make up for letting her go so easily. That's the only way I can think it's of. It's just so good. But. I think it's between old dude mm. because when he found out that she was fucking with Lawrence again, did you see the pain? Did you see the hurt? Did you see it? Not him. Not him. I'm I talking know. About what's his name? Mm -mm. I know, but he is so good looking. Yeah. No, uh, dude from Queen Sugar. Ooh. 
I mean, that would have been my choice. But every who time. is he in this? What's yeah, this that's person true. That, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, every time. Mm. Wait, hold on, hold on. Signing off, y'all. Bye. The world is mine, me a get back Don't mess with my stack, the game is wrapped About to drop the bomb, I'm the West Coast down Big fish in a small pond Now the fish trying to throw they book At the crook, but I shook They worm and they hook Duffies hold they breath They want to miss me when I'm tipsy Running everything west of the Mississippi Get the unseen, pulling strings with my piggy ring We got your woman pucker up, but we buck her up Bow down before I make a phone call
One neighborhood under God, invincible, with luxuries and riches for God. Many hours later. Yeah. About to grab. I'm so fucking hungry. I don't know if I want. Mm. My hair is still wet. Really? Up in here. Still wet. That's why I'm freezing. Oh. Y'all, I stepped out the house like it was summertime. Okay? No jacket, flip flops, because we went and got pedicures. We got our nails done. She got her nails did. I just got a manicure. Look, I'm showing your nails, bitch. They're just basic. So pretty. Very cute. Very now we're appropriate. Stuff in our face at Rubio's. Did you have any like further thoughts about Insecure? After watching it? I wonder if each episode is gonna be glimpses in time. Like, like instead of being in kind of like, like you know like like just being like a year in the life, I wonder if like the next episode is gonna be like if they're gonna give us a foreshot of like what they're doing in the future. What is that? Um, what is that? It's a hard seltzer, mm -hmm. but it's what's the percentage? It's zero sugar, so it's probably like yeah, just under five percent, four point five. But that is, that tastes much better than like, that tastes better than Truly, that tastes better than White Claw, that tastes better than all of them. Wow. What is this Bon, what is that? <laughs> is that Sam for some? I don't, I don't know. Be about. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Right? Please be not, not messy. Yeah. What the hell is this? Yeah. But it is good. Mm. I feel like when it comes to like looking out. Mm -hmm. Who's not vegan today? This <laughs> <laughs> is bomb. This is their Logan Steno lobster taco. So good. Okay. Like they're gonna, they're gonna like. So a long time frame, not just right now, but the future. 
because it's the final season. Yeah, and just because it's so tell it, show us how it turns out. Yeah, and just because of the touch at the end mm -hmm. of, of the preview for the season, like what Kelly was doing. How did you go from like speaking into a microphone at home to look like she was speaking in front of people? Well, and then she's like a tax agent. Yeah. You know, she's doing a podcast. So it's, it seemed like she has dreams and nobody was hearing her. Mm -hmm. She goes, everything I say is a joke. And I think it's more of a projection. Like, because you have to look at your history, everything you do say is a joke. Mm -hmm. You very rarely have, she very rarely has serious moments. But then when she does, she feels like nobody hears her because nobody's used to hearing something serious from Kelly. Mm -hmm. So. So it's kind of like she's frustrated with where she's at in life and she's projecting. Mm -hmm. But um, but it seems like it, it it looks like things work out for her really well. Yeah. And just from wondering the the future format of the show, like mm -hmm. are they gonna is right, it gonna she be like, really successful? Mm-hmm. And then finally Did I do that? Amanda, I think I squirted on you. You squirted on me? Um Amanda's husband. Because he always be shading her and she's gonna be hella successful. She's gonna be like, boop! <laughs> <laughs> He's his brother. Mm -hmm. I love him. And they need to explain the the history behind why Kelly and Issa's brother don't like each other. Oh, Can God. you explain that? Why do they get on each other's nerves and they always pun back and forth? I they wanna look know. like they're, they would be best friends. Mm -hmm. like. It seems like they, they love each other, they just hate mm -hmm. each other for some reason. It's almost like a playful, like, aggression. What is today? Oh my god, today's Saturday. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Now that I don't work in nine to five, mm -hmm. I can't keep up with what day it is. Because it just all runs together for me. Mm -hmm. It's really nice when you go. He's a break. I was like, yeah, excuse me. Yeah. It's really nice when you wake up Monday morning and you realize, oh, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm on my own time. I'm on my own time, but it is the breeding ground for procrastination. Mm -hmm. And not being productive. Period. And the only reason why I can't procrastinate Because it relies on you and only you. Yeah. When you're the boss, your success is literally truly based on you. Showing up every day. Um, treating your business like a nine to five. And if you aren't planning, you are not winning. You have to plan that shit. Get a calendar and plan that shit. Because, well, I got mine. Mine is going to be Yeah. I'm almost done. This is taking me three days to complete it. Because I keep changing my mind, I keep changing things because I'm doing it so different than what I initially planned, mm -hmm. and I'm juggling both businesses at the same time. So it's just, it's a lot. Well, yeah. she over here trying Sorry. to shoot some fly, <laughs> and then hit her whole bag of chips and just knock them clean off the table, all over the floor. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I feel so bad. Rude. So bad. What am I gonna do now? So you think he's gonna get back with Kendall? Who? Mm. Who raises baby? Well, her name is Kendall. Kendola? Yeah. Oh my god. I, I said Candola. Yeah. <laughs> I said Candola. Kendall. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Yeah. Because she's gonna receive him? No. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't want to be his second choice. Mm -hmm. She does have a lot of respect for herself. Mm -hmm. I will say, if you're gonna have a baby mom, she was a great choice. Mm -hmm. She's not trying for it. He'll have, if she does take him back, he has to earn it. He has to make an effort. I feel the same way with Issa, if he doesn't decide to let it go and fight for her like he should have the first time. 
Well, after Issa forgave him, I think he thought, okay. It was more about him forgiving her. Yeah. But it was but I don't like a that. little too late, too little too late. Yeah, but then I don't like how in the preview for the rest of the season it's like, she's like thinking, oh, maybe I made a mistake. Oh, we I mean, we're on episode one, so. And she just now said, I'm sorry, like, no. She, that was There's the end of it. I feel like I'm just shoveling things in my mouth and it looks so good. And I'm You're so gonna close. Watch this back I'm gonna be like, ew, gross, blur. <laughs> That's why I got food off. Here. Mouth all open. Open. Here's a uh, Rob Angel. <laughs> your face, it, it, you had a physical chemical reaction in your body yeah. from the sound of his name. Yeah. Put your for hands so, on me. For so many years, <laughs> I did not appreciate the view from that man. Oh, dark skin. Oh, please. Shopping. I'm always like, a we know, we, we know. I watch, knowing that I'm going to cry every single episode, <laughs> I will still watch it over. Just to see his face. Just, uh, I feel like I ate so fast, I ate some of these things whole and I should have I feel the same. Signing mm. so, you know. out. Bye, Kinkin. Say bye. Bye, bye. Bestie. Bye. <laughs> the next day. How are you doing, ladies? Good. How are you? Josh, not Daniel. Yes. Uh, hi, Josh. Yeah. 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 yeah, we still don't know what we want. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're serving the breakfast items too. If that, if that yeah, I know. Serious, so, yeah, no, makes the choices is so much more difficult. Yeah, but I'm staying away from the chicken intake. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna need some more. Food. Yeah, yeah, it's a big menu. Uh, yeah, everything's available. So uh, take your time. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You are bright. Apparently, I feel like I should tone down the brightness. You can't see anything. <laughs> Stop trying to see. You act like I'm see through. Almost. Yeah, you do look real. Oh my god. I don't know. I'm so hungry. Um, Is that cotton candy? Anybody eating cotton candy? It's my birthday. Remember that. Look at me, both of you. Remember it's my birthday. Okay. Right. What do I like to see? That's sweet. That's just she's gonna say red lobster. Um that's sweet? Mm-hmm. Mm, cinnabon. No. I do not like cinnabon. You would do a cartwheel for cinnabon. No, I would not. Like an actual oh, cinnabon. Oh cheesecake. No, no. Cheesecake. No. Cheesecake. Why is it taking you so long? You're my best friend. Cheesecake. You love Donuts. cheesecake. Oh, donuts. We love donuts. Yeah, so where, where, where do we need to go? Okay, she wants to go to Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Can't nobody see you. No, no, you don't have to eat them. You guys just have to take me to go get them. I'm down for riding. But I'm thinking about getting, but they're going to be. I'm gonna Who get didn't the know garlic. what they wanted? Who no, 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 I'm getting know. the garlic cheese bread. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to get that in front of you, but. I wanted the pear, that pizza is so good. That, is, is, that arugula good. pear. Looks not good. Oh, I We're can't do cheese. Thank you guys. Look, cheers. I'm old. Oh my God, we got a cheer. God damn it. Yeah. 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 It just ruined the whole. Cheers to my birthday. Okay, so what are we cheersing to? My birthday. I'm a year older. We're choosing to I'm love. We're wise. choosing to friendship. Okay, next. I'm a little wiser. Okay. Love, friendship, and the fact that you guys have been my friends for hmm, a very long time. Yeah. And dealing with all my neuroses and still loving you. Love you both. I mean, cheers. Let me know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't clink glasses. Can you clink with me? Uh, like. Okay, so I thought you were all drink, supposed to go at the same drink. time. It won't come true if you don't drink. <laughs> ah, I don't know. know. So I feel like 2022 is going to be incredibly fruitful. I feel like it's going to be a year for <laughs> an abundance of just all good I shit. All I know is that I could possibly buy a business, mm-hmm. or do two jobs. We might actually mm-hmm. leave independent. 
I'm gonna like, get a guy. We have to. <laughs> Pia. Thank you. Pia, if you're feeling um, fishy. I'm gonna have one of her mm -mm. That is so rude. That is rude. Yeah, she is your spouse. Got no appetite. Take one. I'm so hungry. Yeah. I'll let her have that. I'm just kidding. No, go for leadership. This is on camera. <laughs> Girl, why don't you just wait? Whatever, we've been here five minutes already. I need a bigger size. Girl, excuse me. Can I get some service?
it didn't went from fucking cold to just hot just for no fucking reason. I need to get out the sun. I can't. Like, come on. All right. Um. Well, my car passed small, so we're good there. Um. Fucking shade, please. I cannot. Do you see the sun? God. Shit. Oof. Get some shade, huh? Oh no, they just go block that off. This was working. They gonna go out. Okay, so I just ordered my food. I did order from Zest Kitchen. Bomb. Bomb. Um. I ordered something I had in a minute, the tiger. I used to get the Chipotle tacos all the time with the kale salad, but the tiger mushroom burger. Mm. I can't wait. I didn't have that in shit in months. Like a long, 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 like earlier this year. Um, okay, let me go to the other side because this is just weird. Oh, is that shade? Is that shade? chasing that high if I can go back to when I was a virgin and before I ever 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 was a smoker the first few times I thought I was being taken for a ride like I thought the world was ending I was in the circus bitch I was like spinning and I remember the first time I did it oh my god I can't even say her name I'm not gonna say her name I told, my, told myself people that I've known throughout my life I'm not just gonna put their business out there like that or I'll use code names but um like I had smoked like once in middle school and like once in high school but I barely inhaled I was too scared of the effects not have not being in control of my actions or anything like that because I had no tolerance I, I was scared but I still tried it but I barely inhaled so we didn't and I only took like a puff so I barely had any any anything but um the first time I really smoked like really 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 smoked was it was circa 2006 2006 or 2007 and um, a co-worker, she was a business affiliate that worked for another company that did business with ours. And she lived in LA. So she flew up to um, for business purposes. And she stayed with me because we were hella cool. And so she stayed with me. And then, my girl, but now my wife, all those years ago, um, she stayed with us for a couple days for the weekend. And then she flew back. And she brought that ooh wee with her. And, <laughs> you know, I had always really wanted to indulge within my own four walls. And I was safe because I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to really react when I really take it in. Bitch, she... She made me do one of those. That inhale I just did. Probably a little harder. She made me do one of those. See, I just swallowed. <sighs> then she made me, she put her hand on my mouth and she made me swallow it six times I was so fucked up I saw colors there were colors there were just colors colors everywhere and I was spinning I remember myself spinning like spinning and then laughing so hard and crying and then Bay picked me up she took me in the room Tia she took me in the room like, I'm going to give you the best sex of your life. going to turn you out, bitch. Oh, gosh. And I don't remember. That was so many years ago, but I remember her. <laughs> I remember her giving it to me, but I remember, I remember like it being, feeling amazing in that time. 
but then when it was over I couldn't stop laughing I could not stop laughing because of her but I couldn't I was just high as fuck and I could not stop laughing I mean I was laughing snorting snot nose running like just could not fucking stop eyes swollen because you know I got big eyes so when I when I get real real high my eyes be like this like <laughs> I look like a fucking fish so that shit was funny I ain't thought about that in a minute that was funny um uh, shout out to the to her though I ain't spoken to her in fucking years but since then since that time back when I used to drive the Honda uh my Honda Accord I used to whip the fuck out that coupe shout out to her because she was cool she was cool and she was fun we went out to we went to the club oh my god to nail 21 back in the day fucking toenail oh that hole in the wall i remember that that was the vladi divak or however the fuck you say his name basketball player from back then he's well retired now but it was his club and that shit was popping back then it was like the spot however ratchet that shit was but i took her there and it was just fuck it's been a minute anyway there go my brain wandering everywhere because i'm high as fuck anyway yeah shout out to her because she was hella cool she know who she is <laughs> you know who you are bitch he was my bitch back then like ooh, she was fun i had some fun little temporary friendships over the years like some some chicks i'll never forget for sure For sure. And I think like 99.9% .9 of them I met at work. Or wherever I worked at the time. Some legit hoes. Love them. Always will. Anyway. My nose is running like a mug. Why am I using my phone as a mirror when that is what you guys are seeing? That's gross. Come on now. Got better manners than that. Anyway, what the fuck was I talking about? I don't even know. Calm down. I need water. I'm dying. God, my mouth is real. I'm over really here about to just kill over. I'm like, shit, my bottle of water is me. It's like all the way the fuck over here. And I'm sliding back. Oh, give me my water. Uh, yay! This bottle of water has been in here for like let me see what is in this bitch because this water been in here for a minute. It's been months. Temperature is varied. I don't know if I should do it. I can't see mm, those look like impurities. I don't know. Am I going to risk it? Water actually has a sell-by. Not an expiration, but a sell-by. So it's 10, 19, 23. Fuck with it because my mouth is parched, okay? Oh, I think my food is done. So, and I did get that blackberry limeade. Oh, that shit is so good. Is there ice blackberry limeade tea? Oof, shit. And they have an elderberry tea, too. This place is wonderful. It will. Oh my god, my neck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Anyway, so. The fuck? You won't die if you drink this water, but here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to dry your mouth out. Okay. 
So, what was I saying? You are now watching King Kenzie. It's crazy. But stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Show your girl some love. I don't think I've shown you guys my wedding ring. Mm, there she is. There she go. Oh, that brings back memories. I very rarely like look down at that shit. But I always have it on. Anyway, so I have been out here for a minute and my food is ready. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I will start talking to y'all kingpins and it's like we family. Like we, I'm just going to sit here and talk, 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 talk. I can't wait to engage with you guys in the comments. I haven't met a single one of you yet because I ain't post shit. I'm just manifesting in this bitch. But um, I can't wait to have that relationship with you guys and actually talk to you and all that good shit haters leave me the fuck alone anyway so all right y'all i'm gonna end this week's vlog here i need to go in and get my food because i am hungry okay period i'm gonna leave you with what i say and that is remember always i'm talking to you <laughs> to be uniquely you because that is what makes you one of a kind I forgot the rest they look you dead in your eyeball I like I got a joint in my hand I'm over here lifted he gonna look me dead in my eyeball when he get off the car god Hi. Hello. Anyway, talk your shit. And remember, above all else, be a decent human being. I'm out, y'all. Almost done. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs>